Hey everyone, this is Mark Wong from PSB Academy Student Affairs and Industry Engagement and welcome to this very special episode of Career Cookies dedicated to all our sports science graduates and students out there. Now today we are privileged to have with us Mr. Isaac Lin, Dean of the Academy of Water Safety and Swimming, also known as AWSS. Isaac, thank you for being with us today. Hi Mark, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Certainly a pleasure. Could you share with us uh, a little bit about yourself as well as your current work with AWSS? Well, okay, I'll start with how I started with my career. So basically, um, with the aquatic side of um, career that I have, I started in the late 90s um, in Melbourne, Australia. So initially I was a pool lifeguard and um, it was there for me to, to earn extra money to support myself in education okay so um so it led me to running a program for less fortunate kids uh, in the community so that involves teaching them all forms of uh, life-saving skills for example like swimming water rescue uh, a bit of uh, self-defense and stuff like that and this took the focus from uh, their focus from unproductive um, activities to life-changing and career-making opportunities. Yeah, so some of them are excellent, uh, excellent citizens today, um, with with the good jobs and the kind of people they are in their community at the moment. So it, it speaks a lot about uh, how programs like this can, you know, empower people to be better other people in this community so and then I went on to become a registered nurse um, that was what I aspired to be and uh, I worked for a renowned uh, pediatrics uh, hospital in Melbourne which is um, uh, great for me because I always wanted to to be in uh, such environment and um, so I gave up my passion not totally giving it up um, so I, I stopped doing what I, I love to do in the water and went on, on to land dealing with people. And in my free time, I volunteered as a uh, surf lifesaver as well. And that's in the open beaches in Victoria and worked my way, way up to become a trainer uh, for bronze medallion as well as silver. So silver medallion involves um, rescue watercrafts like the IRB, the inflatable rescue boats. Yeah. And um, then, so I, I came to Singapore to live end of last year in December. And as my parents lived here and uh, just in time for the great COVID season. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, so I decided to take a break from nursing and was looking into church ministry uh, for, for the season. Yeah. And um, as I was looking for a part-time job, um, applying for a swim coach position, I was got I was offered um, a dean position instead with AWSS, which was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so as dean, my primary role, my responsibility is to ensure uh, of high standards uh, of training and coaching for all trainers coming through um, to learn and to be accredited to become a swim coach in their own right in Singapore, as well as uh, internationally, internationally recognized. Mm -hmm. So whatever we impart to them will be transferred for many generations. And it's a, it's a life skill, a life saving skill uh, that should not be underestimated at any cost. So teaching the right techniques with the right level of confidence by the coaches we stand out to teach is very crucial. Yeah. So I also ensure the well-being of everyone in the academy from staff to trainers and trainees. So we are also launching an alumni to keep in contact with past and present um, AWSS members, keeping them in the loop of what's happening in the industry. So there's a lot for me to do and learn as well. Does that help? I think that's amazing, Isaac. And uh, thank you for sharing uh, your illustrious uh, uh, career uh, um, uh, information. Now, we are very privileged, of course, uh, to have uh, the support 
of AWS as our industry partner. Now that actually links back to what our sports science graduates are constantly seeking, and that is career opportunities out there in the market. All right. Sure. And especially in times like these, uh, amidst the pandemic, it always helps to have more variety of options that they can choose from. Would you be able to share some of the exciting uh, uh, career opportunities uh, that our students after graduation or maybe uh, during the course of study can still look forward to through AWSS? That's the first question. And the second question is if non sports science students and graduates can also be part of this career pathway? Sure. Okay, well, there are many opportunities for interns who may come through to AWSS to learn and experience from us. So in the academic department, like my, my own department, there is um, the on-ground operations that deals directly with the trainees. Um, this will come under the swim coordinator, um, one of my uh, colleagues. And what they can experience from this is the role in management of, of classes, uh, the class settings, the org organizing and structuring of modules to match the class and people skills in terms of public relations and managing of uh, a, an aquatic uh, environment. So there are other areas that are more administrative. Uh, we're talking about learning the ins and outs of uh, enrollment tasks, uh, data protection knowledge, uh, collaboration of information from various departments, etc. And in relation, in relation to a uh, uh, sports industry like ours. So there's also the marketing side of things, um, how to market the aquatic industry um, as a whole to sell a coach to potential students. So in terms of graduates, uh, having a job with AWSS, um, once they graduate, uh, well, if there is passion in aquatics, they can learn to become a coach, trained under us, you know, and becoming an internationally recognized swing coach. If they excel above and beyond during their course of internship or sponsorship with us, they could potentially become one of our own trainers in AWSS, and we look out for people like that. How's that? I think that's, uh, that's really, really encouraging to know that there's a wide variety of positions uh, that our students could uh, potentially take up. Now, when we talk about coaching, all right, let's, let's talk a little bit about coaching. We, I can't help but imagine the profile right, of a swimming coach to be akin to a lifeguard, like David Hasselhoff from Baywatch, <laughs> for example, super fit and has amazing stamina. So in your opinion, what makes a good swim coach? Can a mere mortal like me, who hasn't worked out in the past, say, 10 years, make it as a coach if I were to start today? What's your opinion on that? Okay. Let me put it this way, all right? I'll ask you a question. Sure. Well, can a child drive a car? Definitely not. <laughs> so basically, if you are physically unfit mm. and have not been exercising at all for, let's say, 10 years, um, there's no basic solution to be a coach, but yes, there, there is, um, if you have the heart to train, mm. to aspire to become a great coach, and not just a good coach, you know, or just scraping through, right. uh, you need the heart to, to work towards that. So if you have the heart for that, that's definitely not a problem. Um, you just may take a little longer than uh, what normal people would, would do. And um, yeah, so if you have the heart for in the right place, the passion, you can do it, definitely. I think that's a very encouraging, right? Because uh, maybe in 10 years, I might be a swim coach. And, you know, hearing an advice uh, from you actually makes me feel a little bit more assured. <laughs> so, could you share some of the highlights uh, in your career uh, in, in coaching that will inspire our students watching this video. Okay, so swimming is basically a fun activity, all right? Um, it is a life skill as well, and that will and has saved many lives, uh, even without realizing it in the water, because the water is an element that does not discriminate uh, age, gender, or creed, and only the ability to manipulate in and around it and it, it's fun, you know, so 
to challenge ourselves in different aquatic environment like the wa open waters, the surf, if any. So people who have been swimming for years or knows how to swim or basic swimming, challenge yourself to be better in different environments of the water. Um, and if you are new to aquatic scene or contemplating on learning, don't diminish yourself with your age or size or underestimation. You know, as Bruce Lee once said, make water your friend. <laughs> But it has a different context, but the idea is the same, you know, adaptation with perseverance. So coaching has taught me personally tolerance and understanding um, with different people and their capabilities. And it also gave me the perspective on how to communicate well with others. Always reflect back to ourselves whether we want to convey or how we convey to other people clear and easy to understand and if I was in the receiving end how I would have received it. Okay? So there are three things that we must love in this water industry or aquatic industry and that is basically one the water and then secondly people especially kids because that's the bulk of your students or your clientele and then you have to love the teacher in you you know, if you don't, you'll never be able to impart the great knowledge to your students. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Well, thank you, Isaac, uh, for sharing all your valuable insights. Uh, it's certainly been a pleasure to help you with us today. Now, for those of you watching back home, if you'd like to get started in, the, in a career as a swimming coach, no matter the discipline you come from, be sure to follow the link featured at the end of this video. Now, this has been another episode of Career Cookies, and to everyone watching back home, remember to eat well, breathe well, and stay healthy. See you in the next episode. This has been Mark Wong for PSB Academy Student Affairs and Industry Engagement. Cheers. Thank you.